Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Delver, the weekly Magic the Gathering news show where we go over a few of the more pertinent news stories in Magic the Gathering's universe. This week's a little light, but there's some interesting stuff going on. We are in the thralls of the Brothers' War and there's a lot of recovery going on. RIP uh, to Gaia and the entire green fan base. Um, devastating what happens uh, when two brothers fight one another. So we're going to quickly go over some of the stories that are catching my attention this week and then we'll sign off. So let's jump into the first news story on the stack. It is the weekly Magic the Gathering Arena announcements. Um, so we'll run through these really quickly and then one of them in particular I want to break out and talk about separately. Uh, Gladiators coming back to uh, Arena All Access November 28th to the or 24th to the 28th. Pardon me. Um, Gladiator is a great fan made play style um, format that has a lot of paper fans that's sort of like Commander, except for you're not tied to a Commander. It's a 100 card singleton. Um, this was kind of made popular by some of the folks here uh, on Vancouver Island uh, with the Loading Ready Run channel. So definitely support Gladiator if you can. Everyone's trying to get it on a permanent format playlist. So the more you play it on the all during the All Access event, the more chances it will become a permanent fixture. Next up is the Weekend Arena Open, Brothers War Mixed Limited. Um, this one you will need to you know, pay an entry fee to join. And day one will be uh, best of one and best of three limited format. And then day two will be uh, drafts. You'll get uh, one draft in the morning and one draft in the afternoon. If you qualify, uh, you get a cool exclusive sleeve if you enter um this is kind of following the formatting that they've been doing for arena opens for a little while now people love them people like limited uh competitive magic so this is a, a great addition to the constant cycle of arena open formats and i hope they don't go away from it so definitely sign up if you're looking to you know spend some uh spend some points or you know earn some more points get some cool sleeve and maybe win some money i believe that uh there's a few grand on the line if you manage to make it to full wins on day two so definitely check that out we've got some bug fixes um card styles in the midnight hunt will uh have been losing their text in arena and it's been hilarious because some people still don't know what the midnight hunt cards do so that has been fixed um ward on phyrexian flesh flesh gorger is no longer double charging players this was an issue um that was really prevalent in the initial week of brothers war and in the preview event there was some a couple of high profile streamers jim davis in particular that got dinged twice for the flesh gorger um ward which is pay three life golden pack meters will no longer get stuck in an animation i haven't heard of that problem uh mastery purchase option that includes plus 10 levels will no longer incorrectly show dominar united i mean i'm glad mishra's baba will now appear in draft packs it wasn't prior which is hilarious because they've also banned mishra's bobble in historic um Midweek magic this week will be uh, standard, looks like. November 22nd to 24th will be a standard event. And then the following week will be jump in, which hopefully has the new Jumpstart 2022 cards in it. Quick drafts uh, for this week are going to be the Brothers War until December 9th. And then we will get the Streets of New Capenna Plane Shift quick draft uh, in the first, the second week of December, sorry. Other events to take note of, uh, the 15th to the 10th, December 10th, Brothers War Sealed, best of three, November 18th to the 21st, Standard Metagame Challenge, November 24th to the 28th is the Gladiator All Access, like we spoke of, 
And then December 2nd to the 9th is the Brothers Brawl, which we will jump into uh, real quick. Then we've got uh, Premiere Play schedules. So if you're interested in this, definitely check out the magic.wizards.com uh, and check out their news section. Again, they're publishing the same amount of ranked season rewards. The Arena Open is starting on November 26th, which we just spoke about. So the Brothers Brawl is a pre-made i believe it's a pre-made square off in historic brawl decks each helmed by a legendary brother and their allies so yeah they're pre-made decks um you either get to pick mishra or urza and you know if you win five games you get two four six eight ten card styles most of it is the schematic card style rewards stuff for um the retro artifacts which are mostly not playable in recent formats the next piece of news is again we'll break out on the gladiator news because gladiator is a really big deal and we're hoping that it sticks around uh, all access begins on november 24th at 8 a.m and runs until november 28th at 8 a.m so you get four days of gladiator all access Best of three, play as much as you like until the event ends. There's no entry cost. So Gladiator is a 100-card singleton, much like Commander, except for you don't have a hero card. There's no Commander. Um, this is a fun way to kind of mix with um, cards that you want to play that don't necessarily follow all under a certain Commander. There's also no color identity rules because you don't have a Commander in play. Um, it's a very cool format. Um, it's much like the, what's that other one made by the loading ready run folks, Highlander, Canadian Highlander, um, except for there's no card points system. So it's a singleton format, no commander, the all access gladiator, best of three. If you get one win, you get a dockside chef card sleeve which is really cool i've never seen this i want this really bad because i love a good bowl of noodles as you can oh my camera's cropped but i have a huge i have a neon bowl of ramen behind me on my wall uh two wins you get a thousand xp and you can play this as much as you like until the event ends i'm not sure some of the last few all access events you couldn't resign and start again so you were stuck playing whatever deck you uploaded the first time uh, hopefully you'll be able to resign in this one try out a few different gladiator decks and then again hopefully they bring gladiator to the platform full time gladiator is a fan created format with a robust community that is always welcoming new players there's a link to the community discord there uh, the rules of gladiator are Decks must contain no fewer than 100 cards and no sideboards, with a minim maximum of one copy of each card other than basic lands or cards with no deck limit. Matches are best of three. All cards available on MTG Arena are legal in their original versions except for the following banned cards. There are five banned cards. There's uh, Time Reveler to vary, Oko, of course, Nexus of Fate, Natural Order, which is banned like everywhere, and Field of Dead. An oversized deck with a singleton limit means you'll need a robust game plan that can adapt to many different circumstances, while the multiple game matches mean you see a lot of, a lot more of both of your own deck and your opponent's deck. Sit back, relax, and have a magic holiday with games and a community you enjoy. Great. Love it. They're also starting the uh, Jumpstart previews. They are running today and tomorrow. We will probably do a quick Jumpstart card review uh, by the end of the week. But as it's not, it's only halfway done right now while we're recording this episode of Delver, uh, we will not be going into the Jumpstart cards. Uh, but definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the jumpstart review later in the week once we've had access to all the cards the last bit of news i wanted to talk about was hive social everyone in magic the gathering on in the community on social media 
uh, have been kind of clamoring for a new place to hang out, socialize, share their passions, somewhere that isn't consistently being warped and tainted by poor business decisions and fr frankly unstable leadership um you know twitter might survive it could it actually probably will but there's going to soon be a need for a place to gather outside of somewhere like twitter last week we spoke about um card deck website moxfield working on their own social media platform and hive is sort of like a mix between um myspace instagram and twitter and i think that it's got some really robust rules about community engagement it has some very clear guidelines on what is and isn't allowed on the platform they promote creativity and leadership and the LGBTQ plus community is supported um, and almost every Magic the Gathering content creator personality on Twitter is making their Hive channel. So if you do want to hop over and follow me on Hive, I am at Erp on Hive. Uh, this was taken a while ago. It's It's a brand new platform, so we're getting a lot of follows really quickly and lots of the community is connecting on there and i think that there's a potential for this to become celebratory place for for magic the gathering fans i think i'm going to keep it magic the gathering related i'm not going to be following you know athletes or journalists that i usually follow on stuff like twitter i think that i want to keep hive magic related or board game related or tcg related um and just have fun with that i think that there's so many amazing people in this community and we all deserve a nice place to hang out and hive is slowly holding together right now i know that they're a team of two people developing this platform and you know there's some growth to be had there's some bugs in the system there's um some issues some folks are having with um you know connectivity and button pressing um but Again, it's a two-person platform, two-person uh, dev team, and they've just like skyrocketed into like a million new users in the last like couple days. So obviously it's going to be a little shaky right now, but hopefully they will gain their footing sooner than later and be able to, you know, launch fully on Android. Right now it's in beta on Android, so it's on iOS only. And then they're also working on a web uh, platform version of the site currently there's no web feature or desktop feature so it's only on mobile definitely follow me there at erp uh, on hive social download it on ios or request a beta at hive social's uh, website and i believe it's just hive social dot app um yeah it's got cool features it seems to be a fun place to hang out um it's got some old school vibes. It's got some some vibes that remind you of, you know, like I said, MySpace or, you know, original Tumblr even. I think that this could be a very fortuitous community to to gather on and, you know, connect about magic. Anyway, all of that news will resolve and we will move on. Thank you so much for checking out this latest episode of Delver. If you haven't yet, a lot of people on here um, are watching, and I thank you so much for watching, but a lot of the viewers are not subscribers yet, and we're trying to raise that subscriber count, so definitely give this channel a subscribe if you like the content. If you don't like the content, I would also ask for a subscribe um, out of hate who knows maybe you just hate subscribe this this channel um you don't have to turn on the bell you don't need to be notified for all the new videos right now we're just concerned about growing that subscriber count so that we can start to open up some more tools on the platform i'm having a ton of fun making this content for for you guys for myself um all of our gameplay content our set reviews i'm going to be do shooting a an actual product review this week um I'm having a lot of fun. It's helping me out a lot. 
and I hope it's helping you out a lot. I'm connecting with so many new people that love Magic the Gathering, that play this game, that talk about this game, that talk about other TCGs. I think it's great. I appreciate your time. I appreciate all you do. And be kind to one another and have a great rest of your week. Until next time.